I'm sure you will identify because most of us go through many transformations in our lives, especially the last few years. Today we're talking about how you create your brain style identity for this transformation that you're going through, already have been going through, but style and your clothes don't quite yet suit your new version of yourself or this transformation, this new lifestyle that you are entering into. Let me give you an example. You could have lost a lot of weight, so you're completely a new identity, a new person, a new way of thinking, so much more confidence, and you're so ready to wear different clothes that present who you are. Or perhaps you are going into an entirely new career that you are creating or following, and you need to start being that person. You need to start being the person that you really visualize out there, because you really are it. You've been prepping and planning and working your way through to become that person. So a matter of fact, you're really in it. So it's time for you to start being the true person you are, Dress your authentic style, your brand and style, identity that suits you. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Tanya Sutherland. It's all about conscious thinking. It's all about conscious living. It's about your conscious thoughts, your behaviors, your patterns that either work for you, empower you, or enable you, and then to change them, those identity shifts. It's about being conscious about the clothing that you're wearing, the clothing, the styles, the colors, and of course, very important, the fragrance that uplifts you by that you can wear daily that reminds you of what it is your intention is for the day. This one is all about metaphysics. It is about you creating the life you want through manifestation, through meditation. If you love this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you press the red button down below to stay in the loop of my weekly videos. Tuesday, my videos are all about fashion or style. Friday is all about creating conscious living and identity. For 36 years of being a fashion designer and entrepreneur, working with so many women, understanding the importance of their self-image as well as their self-confidence, because being a designer wasn't just designing these beautiful creations, it was also about being a confidence transformation coach in the same, about giving the style, the look, as well as the confidence and understanding what women want. We all know how clothing can affect our psychology. It can absolutely uplift our confidence or do the complete opposite. So let's sort of step into how do we start creating our brain style and identity. The first simple things you could do is what are three words that you can describe yourself by? So mine would be dynamic, glamorous and adventurous. So that already tells you what kind of person I am. I'm adventurous. I like to do something different. So therefore, even my style is different. I'm not following the normal fashion trends. I might take a few ideas out of there, but I'm always thrown in my own creations, my own styles, my way of dressing into the mix of my wardrobe. That is how I present myself. I love glamour. No matter if I'm just going to yoga, I will still look like a glamorous yogi. That is who I am. I don't like the norm. That is who I am. Let's take a few more words from your career path or this new transformation life that you are following, this new version that you have become or are becoming. So what would those words be? Think about it. Here is an idea. So mine would be, um, it's about inspiring, motivating, confidence. So that is my career path. Put those words together. It's about me helping you to become consciously aware of the thoughts that you are thinking every day. You'll how to uplift your confidence to create the clarity that you want and how to use metaphysics, the law of attraction, quantum physics, how to step into manifesting the life that you want. So, so those are the words that describe my career. What are the words that describe your career? Now we're off to the wardrobe. Open up your wardrobe and have a good look and be honest with yourself. Do those styles, those colors, and the combinations that you could put together to create these very versatile styles, do they really represent who you are right now? Maybe it did a few months ago or a year ago. I don't know when last you've changed your wardrobe. So now you're looking at your wardrobe with different eyes. Does it speak to who you are? Because your wardrobe, your style is an extension of your personality. It is your voice. 
People see you before you say hello. They've really made up their mind about you, whether they like you, don't like you. They've really probably worked out a few things in their mind that they kind of worked out what type of personality you are, what kind of character you are, just by the way that you've dressed without saying a word. You want your clothes to be able to speak for you. The next tip I could give to you is when you find a style that suits your body shape and body type, yes, you're going to have to do some you know, self-investment. Go and have a look what your body shape, body type, your body proportions are. Maybe you know that already. You know what styles would suit you. You need, the next thing would be is color. So I speak about color a lot, about the psychology of color. And I'm also very into the chakras, how the, the cortex is of energy flowing through the body, all the seven layers of consciousness that we go through in our body. And each one represents a color. Not just the color, it's also to do with your organs, your body, your mind, your behavior. So that goes very deep. So I love to dress the seven colors of the rainbow connecting to my chakras. So you decide what colors suit you the best. It's also about being conscious about what the color represents, how it's going to make you feel on a subconscious level that you are intentionally wearing that certain color. In your mind, you are working through affirmations or becoming this, this person for the day, the things that you want to achieve, the intentions that you've set out. This is who you are portraying for the day. And the color keeps reminding you about that. So it's a conscious reminder of who you are and what your, what your intentions were for the day through what you're wearing, as well as the message that you're sending out to the people around you. Once you like a certain style and you know it suits you well and it fits you well, there's nothing wrong with having several of those in different colors. Not the same color because that becomes a uniform. Even I did that a little while ago when I did a very big move and I had to declutter my wardrobe. And to my horror, I realized that I had like six or eight pairs of boots. They were all the exactly same color and almost the same design. I didn't even see that. It became a uniform. I kept buying the same thing over and over in the same color. The same thing with the little dress that I had. I had the same dress in the same color with slight variations, but they were so similar. And me being a designer, a stylist, a coach, I couldn't believe that even I had fallen into that trap of just buying a uniform. So rather find a style that you like, but buy it in different colors. Because you never know what kind of emotional mood you might feel like the next day or a color you want to wear to present some kind of conscious intention thought for the day. And you need that particular color to uplift to uplift your emotions as well as your mood. Your wardrobe needs to be organized just like the rest of your life. As you're planning your career, planning your day, everything is organized. You know what you need to do. You know where you can find everything and everything works harmoniously. Your wardrobe needs to be exactly the same. You should be able to quite easily pull out garments in your wardrobe and create different styles and designs that is authentic to who you are. You know when you look good. If you're not sure, ask a friend. Get a few friends around. Open a bottle of wine and say, we're doing a mini fashion show. Help me to find my true identity. But just remember, your friends are not you. They might understand you. Remind your friends that you know that you are different to them. A different body shape, perhaps a different career. But can they just keep an open mind and be honest about giving you advice of what suits you and what doesn't suit you. Best next thing is a girl always needs a good tailor or a seamstress to alter your garments to fit you absolutely perfect. To have the right length, that is so important. So now you have a wardrobe that absolutely works for you. Everything in your wardrobe is like you're walking into a boutique, all the beautiful, thing, all the beautiful things that you love. You want to wear them, you want to buy them. They are now in your wardrobe. Your wardrobe must consist of beautiful items that you love. You love and you wear. You need to wear them at least 80% of the time rotating in the wardrobe, not just 20%. Otherwise, that is just collecting dust. It's collecting clutter. Get rid of the clutter out of your life and out of your mind. 
So one of my passions is I love to design and create my own wardrobe as well as my own collection, my PDF sewing pattern collection. I'll leave the link down below of the patterns. Go and check it out on my website. There might be some patterns you like there to give to your designer or seamstress to make up for you. Or you can actually try and sew it yourself.